Good morning, John. I don't know if what people know about how I make videos, but I usually write a script. And this video doesn't have one of those. I started to document it, it says, good morning, John. Ah! That's the whole thing, that's what I got. Basically, a lot's happening all at the same time. The entire YouTube community is coming together to raise money to plant trees in the world, which is lovely. I just bought a bunch of land to build a warehouse on because DFTBA, has grown too much, which I don't mind because as I haven't, I don't think even mentioned on this channel, DFTBA now gives all of its profit distributions that would normally go to me and John to charity. And also, yes, that's happened. And we've already raised more than half of our initial goal of $240,000 at PIH.org slash Hank and John. That's a big truck. Where are you doing? Where are you going? You just gonna, Okay, good. And also, it's just a, a lot to have finally had this thing that, John, mostly you, but also I have been working on for a really long time and, and like been thinking about for a really long time. This is something that we've been really careful about and that if we're gonna ask a lot of people for a lot of money and, and also put a lot of our money on the line, then we wanna do it the right way and we wanna have the best impact that we can. Now, of course, best is a trap that you can get stuck in, right? Like, is this the best possible use of money? That's how you start thinking about things. You will never do anything because what isn't the best possible use of money, I know this for a fact, is it sitting in my bank account. That's what usually happens when people have money. You put it, you invest it in the stock market. And then the idea is that like in the future, that money will be worth more money and it will be. But as I was getting lots of advice on what to do with money, because this is like, there's a whole industry of people who are advisors for people who have money. What I was realizing was when I said like, I just want to give the money away now. There was a lot of like, well, wait, like wait for the money to become worth more money and then give it away then and it'll be more of a gift. You'll give away more money. And that made a kind of sense until I realized a really obvious thing. Poverty and illness and hardship are taxes that pay for nothing. These things make it harder and less likely for people to find stability and contribute to their communities. Having your mother die is something that decreases your odds of finding stability for your whole life. My money doesn't disappear when it arrives in Sierra Leone. That value grows in children and nurses and parents and communities. It just grows in ways that I can't see or control the way I could if the money was in a bank account. Financial advisors don't love this line of reasoning because it doesn't make them any money. And there are no like highly paid uh, charity donation advisors. So that's a little bit what John and I are trying to do for some people. Just shoot us an email at hankandjohn at gmail.com. We can help you make the most of your dollars. Also to raise money for this, we're gonna be going on more tours. If you wanna tell us where we should go, there's a link to a map in the description. You can click on where we should go. It should be fairly self-explanatory. Also at Complexly, we're doing a pilot season. We're two thirds of the way through right now. So we've got three shows that we're making three episodes each of, and we're putting them up. History Pop, which is like, exploring history through the lens of pop culture. We've got a Deadwood episode and a Chernobyl episode up so far. And then we've got Stories Retold, which is like an all ages animated channel where we retell fairy tales with like modern morals. And then it hashed out and there's links to all of these in the doobly-doo. We're confronting the complexities of communicating in 2019. That's journalism and it's Twitter and it's bias and it's leaks and all this stuff. So the staff uh, is kind of doing all of these projects at the same time as all of their normal things. But I think that it's really cool. And thanks to everybody at Complexly who's working their butts off. And then Pizzamas is happening next week. I got a big pile of Pizzamas stuff right over there that you can't see yet. If you don't know about this, it's the time of year when John and I go back to like 2007 Vlogbrothers and we make videos every day like we used to. Ah, I'll be fine. John, because Pizzamas starts next week, I will see you on Monday. Give to Partners in Health or check out the pilots here.